Hi, I'm Sam and welcome to this week's mini training and what you just saw was probably evidence that I have zero rhythm and ability to dance. But I'm completely hooked on that song right now. It's incredibly annoying and addictive and it gets stuck in my brain. And so I had to share it with you guys because it's only fair it gets stuck in your brain too. Yeah? I thought so. I'll share the link for the video below so you can enjoy it just as much as I do. But it does lead very aptly into what we wanted to talk to you about today. And what I'm going to talk about a day, what I'm going to talk about today, is obviously not talking very well, uh, is fun in your business. You see, it was only recently that I was doing the do in my business, working really hard and pulling really long hours and building heaps of content and, and all that other stuff. And what I worked out is that for about three or four days straight, I'd worked from my computer from probably about 6.30 in the morning till anywhere between 9 and 9.30 at night. I hadn't seen friends, I hadn't gone out, I hadn't really seen my partner very much, he wasn't very happy. Um, and what I realized is I'd really just created myself a really shitty job. Um, part of the reason of going into business was to create myself a life that I wanted to lead and to give a life to my children that I wanted them to experience. And all I'd done was create myself a crappier version of what I'd been doing when I was being paid by someone else. So this week's reminder is that in business, it's okay to have a little bit of fun. Now I'm gonna make this really clear. I'm a firm believer that you need to treat your business like a business. That means you should be doing good planning. You should be setting clear goals. You should be tracking your numbers and your figures. It might be your conversions, it might be your sales, it might be your Facebook fans, I don't care what it is, but you should be tracking. But beyond all that, hell, you have to have a little fun. Fun comes through in your business and people know when you're having fun and people know when you're enjoying yourself and they know when you're not. You ever picked up the phone to someone, probably in a call center, and you can tell on the other end that they're really having a crappy day because it comes through in their voice? Well, it's the same whenever you answer your phone to a potential customer or a lead or when you're ringing around. People can tell if you're happy. People can tell if you're having fun. People can tell if you're enjoying yourself. And they can tell if you're not. So this week I have a challenge for you and your challenge is to infuse fun back into what you do. Now this will vary for each of you because of course we all find different things very funny. And uh, my partner is apt in that because he finds a terrible range of things funny that I definitely don't. For me, uh, playing a little bit of music and enjoying a little bit of dance is always really exciting and I enjoy it and it's great to do here. The other thing I've started doing really recently is taking a lunch break, like a proper lunch break where I leave my desk. Shh. I know, it's scary. Uh, and going swimming, because I used to swim, I used to squad swim a lot, and I miss it, and I love it, and so I would go swimming, and it's really exciting. This week, it's your challenge, I don't care what it is, pick something, and that's my phone ringing, so we're going to shut that up. Pick something that you want to do that's fun and infuse it back into your business and share with me below. Tell me, what are you going to do this week that's fun? What are you going to do to reward yourself and to improve yourself and to enjoy yourself in your business? I'd love to hear from you. So if you've liked this video, give me a like. If you'd like to see some more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I will see you next week.